super heavyweight division coming up. Uh, Tyrell Biggs of the United States. This one is about to take place. Tyrell Biggs versus Francesco Damiani of Italy. That was, that was just super, Gail, just super. You know, there is no truth, for you friends at home, there is no truth to the rumor that you have to have a degree from Berlitz in order to be a sports catcher. We are live again at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena where excitement has been prevailing all evening. And now, while there is a break because of ceremonies being conducted here, let's look at a history of fighters who became world champions. In 1952, at Helsinki, Floyd Patterson fighting for the gold as a middleweight scored a stunning left-handed hook knockout of his opponent, Tita. And so, Patterson's name shot into national prominence. He grew into a heavyweight as a pro. November 30th, 1956, Chicago Stadium. Patterson against Archie Moore for the heavyweight championship of the world. And that left hook did away with Moore. Patterson became the champion. Ingemar Johansson at Helsinki, fighting an American and not fighting him at all. An American named Sanders, as you can see. And finally, Johansson disqualified for not fighting. But on June 26, 1959, Yankee Stadium, he defeated Floyd Patterson to become the heavyweight champion of the world. In 1960 at Rome, he was Cassius Clay then doing the shuffle against a tough Polish opponent. He was a light heavyweight then, and he won the decision and the Olympic gold. And then, on February 25th, 1964 in Miami, he used that left stunningly to defeat Charles Sonny Liston. He went crazy afterwards, said to the press, my name is Muhammad Ali. And this was Tokyo, 1964. Joe Frazier against Hans Huber. And Frazier in the heavyweight final won the decision. Then, fighting against Jimmy Ellis in 1970, he really destroyed Ellis to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Finally, the thriller in Manila. And Joe Frazier could not come out for the 15th round in one of the glorious battles of all time. Ali, the winner. George Foreman in the Mexico City Arena in 1968 against the Soviet fighter Iona Shapoulis. He beat Shapoulis, who had been favored all over the ring, the historic carriage of the flag about the ring. Then, against Joe Frazier, January 1973, Kingston, Jamaica, he destroyed Joe Frazier. Once, he lifted Frazier into the air with a punch. That was an example of the form and power. He became the heavyweight champion of the world. And then, Leon Spinks in Montreal against Sisto Soria. A glorious up-and-down battle. And then that right of Spinks, a light heavyweight then, brought him the Olympic gold. February 15, 1978. Spinks against Ali, first time around. And Spinks became the heavyweight champion of the world. So there they are, in retrospect, five of them Olympic gold medal winners, but all six of them became heavyweight champions of the world. And now, you see Muhammad Ali, and when he came in here tonight, they're all over him. Ali Boumaye, it seemed like old times, but we are ready now for the super heavyweight fight. Terrell Biggs of the United States and Philadelphia. Terrell Biggs with a young son bearing his name and his lady Linda and his devotion to family with a dream before him to win the Olympic gold. Terrell Biggs, first time ever, a super heavyweight classification. The opponent, Francesco Damiani, who Biggs has defeated twice. But Damiani has prepared himself for this bout as never before. Has promised his fellow countrymen that yes, I will do it this time. I will win the goal. The tale of the tape. Biggs, the younger man by two years. Biggs, the taller man. Biggs with a slightly better reach. The weights virtually parallel. And the third man in the ring is Adala of Tunisia. The judges come from Nigeria, India, Pakistan, Colombia, and Venezuela. And we're about ready to go to climax. A really unbelievable evening of action boxing. Now we'll have to 
see if Damiani has improved to the point where he can beat Biggs. Biggs always the better boxer. Biggs, the man perfectly made for amateur boxing with the quick hands and the quick feet and the speed jab. Damiani, always the brawler. Huge upper body strength Damiani has. It seems to have trimmed that trimmed down, but Damiani, less of a boss. He throws roundhouse punches. That's one of his problems, or always has. Higgs will stick to his fight plan, as I've told you. He doesn't have the big punch, just the quick jab. And that's the way he fights his fight. Damiani will try to crowd him in muscles. And a good left by Damiani there. Biggs has come this far. And eight other Americans perform have already won the gold in an incredible series of achievements. That's Biggs doing his thing. Getting away from the opponent, slipping punches. He's got the foot speed and scoring with the speed jab. Occasional right. Good combination there. Damiani. Start crowding him. Damiani got in a good left. Look. This, by the way, is the last fight of the Olympics. The 345th fight. And it ties the record set in Munich in 40, in 72, 345 fights. Those Olympics, there were 80 countries in these. There are 81. And entrance, 359 here. In Munich, 356. So that's a record. Just some backdrop. First round action, Biggs against Damiani. And Biggs got out of range for Damiani, but Damiani pursuing. And Biggs not showing the movement I had expected. Not in this round anyway. But there is Damiani muscling. So they wrestle. You'll see more and more of that as the fight goes. A good right by Damiani. Stung Biggs. of the first round. Live here in the Memorial Sports Arena and Damiani is carrying this fight, making his fight. Dalla zooms the action after a caution to Damiani. And this has been a good round, I think, for Francesco Damiani. As we come to the end of it, we'll be back. For everyone who's tired of summer... Live at ringside, round two coming up, super heavyweights, Damiani. Italy, Darrell Biggs, United States, Damiani making the fight. Biggs not showing movement. Why, I don't know. He better begin, he better begin throwing some left. That's from his point of view. By the way, in 1980, the American boycott, the Soviet Union won 80 golds. Should Biggs win this fight, should he? America will have tied with 80 goals. And of course, the marathon is yet to come. Now Biggs is scoring with the left. A good right lead. Stung Damiani. And Damiani retreats. Maybe for the first time in the bout. Stung by the right. So Biggs begins to fight. Keeps a tight control. A caution to Damiani. Second round action. Damiani missing there. Still trying to force the action. But Biggs was beginning to take hold. Biggs throws much cleaner punches. A much more rapid puncher than Damiani. Beat Damiani to the punch there and then scored. Much better round for Terrell Biggs than the first round. Infinitely. Now Damiani did score with the right and the left. 
but Fink's fighting back. We're more than halfway through round two. The Biggs and Damiani normally do not fight exciting fights. This one is pretty good. Beat him. World Championship. Beat him again in April of this year in this arena. The World Championship Challenge competition. Biggs moving down to the belly, coming up with a right. A good round by my precepts for Darrell Biggs. A caution to Biggs for pushing off. And a proper. Biggs now shooting that left. Totally different round from the first round. Break and stop. It's a tough official. Crowd doesn't like it, but he's doing his job. Incidentally, the Yugoslav official who disqualified Evander Holyfield two days ago did not receive a refereeing assignment tonight. You see, good right by base. Damiani is not scoring cleanly at all. They are roundhouse wild punches. And it's a totally different round. All the scoring done straight punches in combination right there by Biggs. All the score, scoring being done by Biggs in this round. And we're going to stay between rounds as Darrell Biggs is boxing the opponent the way he has the ability to box. Good left by Biggs. Damiani wild. Damiani losing pace. Will be right here at ringside at this break. Listen to that. Hit him and move. Hit him out. Hit him and move. You got three minutes now. He's going to come out charging you. He's going to come out charging you, and I want you to jab and step. You understand? Both sides. And then about 30 seconds later, you start moving in. Moving in, taking your shots, and getting out. Now, listen, Terrell, you're hooking nice off of your jab. Now, let's keep doing it. Now, what to 
the target. We are counting down. Dama holds the clock. We have 30 seconds to go in the fight. Now, follow the countdown. Damiani swinging away. Pigs bleeding from the mouth. There's Big scoring again. Five punches. The one for Damiani. Now Damiani crowding him, muscling him against the ropes. And we're coming to the end of this fight. The scoring should be interesting. That's it. You look at Burl, uh, Terrell Biggs, and you look at Damiani, both tired men. We'll be right back. Good time. Use the way we do. Bout number 345, live at the arena. Just completed the decision coming up. One grows gunshot with what we've seen. 4 1. In the blue corner, Terrell Biggs of the United States of America. Terrell Biggs has won a split decision. I couldn't say it, frankly, any other way. And Damiani is wrong. His blows were not clean. Biggs earned it. So he has won the goal. And the Americans have tied the Soviets in conflicting boycotts. Yep, boycott years, each having won 80 goals. In the meantime, there is the scoring. And red the left corner. The Indian judge voted for Damiani. The others voted for Terrell Biggs. Now in slow motion replay, let's take a look at some of the action. Biggs scoring with the right. Now watch Damiani. You see, that was a glancing blow. The second did score. There he missed and missed again. And Biggs scored. Damiani went to the belly. Damiani, a roundhouse swinger. And he walks around the ring as I look at this slow motion replay. You see big scoring there. Disconsolately in motion. And now let's turn to Terrell Biggs. Terrell, Terrell congratulations, of Thank course. Blood you. from the nose, blood from the mouth. Just from the nose. Mainly just my nose. In the meantime, you fought your fight your way, as you right. saw. Well, Howard, uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank God for getting me here. When everybody else was turning me down, I just prayed to God, and I'm following his path. And I just want to thank the Lord for, for, for having me win this and use my ability to win this. I want to congratulate you. We've got such a crowded schedule. Let's go quickly back to Jim McKay. Right, Howard. Now down at Long Beach, we're about to hear the United States anthem, what the men gymnasts did the first week, the volleyball team has done near the end of these games, the first gold medal in the sport. I got no money! A con artist wrecked Connie's life. A train wreck. Hurled her into a new one. There has been one major screw up here. They think she's family. My brother's widow. And she has just given birth to my grandson. Oh, God. We're